everybody, it's me again, and I am so unbelievably hyped to welcome you to my playthrough of Subnautica. I have been looking forward to this for literally around, maybe not quite so literally, a year and a half. I have sunk, pun intended, almost 300 hours into the PC version of this game way back before it even hit version 1.0. The last update they released right after I forced myself to stop playing was called Voices of the Deep, which sounds creepy, but I have not played anything beyond that. Once they started adding end game content, I stopped playing to save it for when I was playing the full release. You guys have no idea how excited I am to finally share this game with you. I don't know how much they've changed. They might have changed, like, the spawn points of some creatures, so I'll be bumping into creatures in places I don't expect. I don't know if they've changed the map, so, like, you know, the, I might not even know where the biomes are anymore. I don't know if, like, if they've... The last couple times I played the game before I made myself stop, they were, like, adding new materials and, like, changing the recipes to build stuff, so I didn't even know how to make stuff anymore. And my headset's giving me issues here, sorry! Guys, I think it's about time we started this. New game. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's right. We're definitely not doing creative. And we're definitely not doing hardcore, because hardcore includes permadeath. Uh, which, if you guys don't play survival games, don't know what permadeath is. It means I have one shot at life. And if I die, I start all over. And that ain't happening. So, freedom was one of the first times I played Subnautica, I did it on Freedom, which is basically the same as Survival, except you don't have to worry about food and water. But I feel like Survival is the way this game is meant to be experienced, and it just adds to the tension. So, this we're gonna play it on Survival, and we're gonna get started right now. Oh my god, I am so excited to finally be able to play this game again! I've missed it so much! It easily makes my top five games of all time. Easily. Easily. I mean, it just... The game does not advertise itself as a horror game at all, but it totally is. And I had to learn that the hard way. But <laughs> we'll get into stories about my first experiences playing Subnautica eventually. But for now, we're just going to hop in and see what this game is like. Uh, now that Panic Button has kind of taken over and... Uh, yeah, you know, and has basically kind of redesigned the game to be adequate for consoles because I do remember Subnautica having frame rate issues on the PC which of course I was playing like the beta version right but and I've never played this game once it passed version 1.0 so I don't know what's been fixed I don't know what's been improved I don't know what's been changed in general I have no idea but I you know have a sense of what we're gonna get into because I'm you know I have like 300 hours of experience And panic button, that's cool. Launch in three, two, one. Oh god, this is all so familiar. secured a little tighter for these exact situations <laughs> but yeah okay so this is the premise we we're on a ship called the aurora and for whatever reason it has crash landed on a, on a planet called 4546b and uh we're already straight up fucked ain't we okay oh god how do we do this fire extinguisher r2 excellent thank you i'm already so good at this game i'm on fire ow <laughs> okay <laughs> All right, well, that could've gone better. Is this thing working? Test thing, one, two, three. Altera. Altera. Oh, that's new. Oh, it's got a jingle now. <laughs> that's cute. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. Oh, good. This PDA has now oh, been hit in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive. On an alien world. It's so shiny. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Thank you. I recognize your voice. Okay, yeah, that's basically what you told me. I whatever. 
Uh, okay, so it's the touchpad to open and close the PDA. I don't need to assign a quick slot for a fire extinguisher. I would assume it's... Oh no, it's those. Uh, that... I don't like that. Hold on. Let me go into options and uh, map my controls a bit, because I'm a gamer. Do the bumpers do anything? Move up and move down. Oh, like ascending and descending uh, the, in water depth. Mm, I feel like the bumper should belong there. I suppose I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. Okay, I'm glad I turned up the sensitivity too because this is a lot easier. Okay, so this is the fabricator. This is what I use to craft stuff. But I obviously don't have anything yet. Let me just go ahead and put the fire extinguisher in here. Okay. Oh god, I'm learning these controls all over again. I will take that. Thank you very much. Uh, damaged radio. I need a repair tool to fix that. Okay, so let's see. The basic tools that we're going to need to start are a repair tool. Uh, we're going to need also a scanner so I can find supplies to build and uh, blueprints basically to build better stuff later on. A flashlight for swimming around in the dark would be incredibly useful. Ugh, I feel like I'm missing something big. But I can't think of anything right now. I should probably stop talking so much. You guys ready to see? Oh, dude, look at... That was new. Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life. Signs detected. Zero plus one. I am the sole survivor of the crash. So this is our first look at Subnautica. It looks like there's something sticking up out of the water over there. And those are peepers! Aren't you guys cute? Are you guys ready to get your first look beneath the waves? Because I've been ready for a long time. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Welcome to Subnautica, everybody. Oh my god! Hey, my first trophy! Oh, I'm so excited! Come here, I'm gonna fucking eat you. Sea glide fragment. I need a scanner to scan that, so that's probably gonna be top priority. Come here! I need to cook you, and I need to eat you, so I don't die. I also need you guys, because you guys can eat water. New creature discovered. Bladderfish. Come here, you. There we go. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Thank yes, I, I'm, I'm aware. <sighs> okay, so we obviously start the game in a biome called the Safe Shallows, uh, which is not entirely safe. Spoiler alert. But, yes please. Okay, so we basically just have to keep food and water with us at all times. organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Relatively. Because that's... Oops. This button for inventory. Right. Uh, that's the thing with this game is... It's all exploration. You know, this game... Literally, we're in the game. There's no tutorial. No nothing. You just kind of have to swim around an alien ocean and figure out what's gonna try and kill you and what's less likely to try and kill you. Because nine times out of ten, if you see a creature and you don't know what it is, and you're like, hmm, I wonder if that's gonna try and eat me. Nine times out of ten... The answer's gonna be yes. So, fuck. Yeah, we're kind of, uh, kind of in a bad spot here. But, okay, I need, what do I need? I, what, what do I need to make a scanner? Also that, so I can spend more time underwater. Uh, fins, so I can sm swim faster. Dude, the interface looks so cool now. Everything looks so polished because, again, last time I played this, it was a beta. So there were some things that, like, didn't even have, like, a design to them. Just, like, text appearing in the corner of the screen or something. Oh, this is so cool. I love this already! I'm so excited to play this game! I'm gonna play this all goddamn night. I, again, I'm playing this at 420 blaze it p.m. <laughs> so, uh, my lighting situation here is eventually going to degrade. I have some things planned to maybe try and fix it. And it might not work, but whatever. I'm gonna play this all motherfucking night because I wanna. Okay, scanner. I need to make a battery, and I need titanium. I think I need acid mushrooms, but that's based on a year and a half old version of this game, so I have no fucking idea. Here we go. I need two acid mushrooms and copper ore. Okay. So, I'll start there, and I also need titanium. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's animations to everything now, too! Hey, Rabbit Ray! Oh, these guys are so cool. Come here. You. Hello? What was that noise? 
if I remember right, that was a gasopod, but I have no- Oh, everything is so smooth! Everything is so smooth! I love this game! Oh, I love it so much, I love it even more! I love it even more, and oh god, I am so fucking excited. This- this is gonna be the new Skyrim. This is gonna be the new Skyrim on my channel. This is gonna be like 55 episodes, and I'm never, ever, ever, ever gonna stop playing it. probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Okay, thanks. Oh no, not the crack fish! Oh no! Oh god. Oh god, I'm about to drown. Okay, come on up. Up to the surface. Oh god, okay, there we go. Yeah, see, you never know. You never know when something's gonna try and kill you. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's tiny and looks adorable. Nine times out of ten, it's gonna try and kill you. Most things in the safe shallow, shallow won't, but uh, there are plenty of things that will try. And will eventually succeed. Okay, I got acid mushrooms. I think I got some copper. Um, I'm doing okay on food and water. Battery, here we go. Okay. Uh, and then I need to take that... Hey! Acquired. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. Okay, so wait. I, and I also need uh, the metal shrapnel I picked up on the floor. The ocean floor is... I can down whatever. I can't even think of words right now. I'm so excited. But I get four titanium per piece of metal salvage. So I have eight titanium now. Which is more than enough for me to make a scanner... So I can eventually build a sea glide, which is incredibly important. Uh, wait, where am I going? I'm going in here. Scanner. Nailed it! Okay. There we go. The scanner can be used to synthesize I'm also gonna make one of these. From salvage technology and to record alien biological data. To get silicone rubber, I need to find the kelp forest. New blueprint. Aqua. Okay, wait, well, hold on. What else can I make? Floating air pump. Eh, I, I never, ever used those. I'm so overwhelmed and so fucking excited all at the same time. Okay. So my scanner can go there. Where's my O2 tank? Oh, I already have it equipped. So what was I at? Like 45 seconds I could spend underwater before almost drowning? Now I can stay underwater for an additional 30 seconds. Yeah, there we go. 30 seconds of oxygen. Awesome! Okay. Do I want to make another O2 tank? Hey, scanner. I'm gonna go find that sea glide fragment and scan it now. Can I equip two at once, or did I just waste a thing? Oh, it's empty. Oh, I wait. Oh, well. I can sw- Ah, oh, fuck! I wasted shit! I remember in the old beta version of the game, you could have multiple O2 tanks that would, like, stack on top of each other. But apparently, that's just not a thing anymore. Oh, I love how there's animations to everything now. And there's self-scan. Yeah, okay, so there's self-scan, but we're, we're, we're not gonna do that right now, because I'm perfectly fine! I just hit X to jump. Shit. Oh, the sun is going down. And there's a lot of creepy noises in this ocean. This game... God, it strikes the perfect balance. I'll just scan everything I look at, why not? The more information I have, the better, right? But, uh, this game strikes the absolute perfect balance between your just, like, your wondrous sense of discovery and just wanting to explore everything and see how gorgeous everything is and the absolute terror of the unknown and never wanting to leave your base again. <laughs> like, that is... It's perfect. You want to go out and explore the world and just see everything. And at the same time, you just don't want to die. <laughs> and every time... The kelp force is over there now. Every time you hear a strange sound and you don't know what it is, it's just like panic induces. Like, oh god, what is it? What is about to try and kill me? And uh, I have a story that I'll share with you later, but I'll share it after we uh, encounter the creature that it involves for the first time. Because I don't want to give... Detecting increased local radiation levels. Oh god, that's probably not good. is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Oh, well. I'll just scan everything, because I can't see shit in the dark, and I do not want to venture too far from my life pod right now. Eventually, we're going to have to... Uh, build a base, and then start building vessels, and then putting pressure compensators in those vessels so we can get deeper and deeper and deeper into the ocean. Why on earth would we want to go deeper and deeper and deeper into this creepy as shit ocean, you might be asking? You'll find out. But it is necessary. It's not just for shits and gigs. Oh, come on. Pick a mushroom and scan it, me. Now, this character that we're playing as right now is a silent first-person protagonist. Uh, he doesn't have a name, at least not as far as I know, but I've taken to calling him Diver. So we can call him Diver, if you wish. Uh, but if he does have an official name that I'm just unaware of, please let me know. 
Another thing about this game is the fact that I should probably scan life forms, right? And I know what resides in the kelp forests, too, so I feel like I should at least craft a sea glide of sorts. Hello, Gary Fish. Ooh, glass! I want glass. Quartz, which eventually becomes glass. Close enough. Please don't tell me there's guys fishing here. But another thing about this game is the fact that there is an expansion coming called Below Zero. Where the fuck am I? Oh god, this is not good. I need to get out of here as quickly as possible and get oxygen. Oh god, okay. There's an expansion called Below Zero coming, which is supposed to add a whole nother biome with a whole bunch of different creatures and a new type of leviathan. If you don't know what those are, you will soon enough. Once I eventually gain the courage to venture out of the safe shallows, you will know. But I know nothing about that expansion. I've been staying completely blind to it as much as I possibly can. So I can at least have some of this playthrough be blind, uh, you know, and then also, of course, the end content, which I don't know what it consists of. I know the basics of the story beyond we've crashed and need to survive. There is obviously more to it than that. But, yeah, th I'm not going to spoil anything, so we'll hang on to it. You guys can see a lot better on that screen than I can. <laughs> it's really dark here. I might want to turn the, the, the gamma down, but I'll do that once I get a flashlight. Because I, I don't want you guys to be staring at a black screen. Uh, you know what? I'm going to head towards the surface. So I got quartz, which I can use to build what? <laughs> what am I trying to build now? Uh, I'm trying to build the sea glide and something. I need salt for something as well. For, for, for cured foods, I guess. Hoop fish or whole fish. No, the hoop fish are different. That's right. And you can break these to get random materials. Sometimes it's titanium. Sometimes it's copper. Sometimes it can be... Uh, what else can appear in titanium outcrops? I don't remember. Or, uh, sorry, limestone outcrops. I feel like I'm missing one. Silver? Can silver appear? Now, I can build my base literally anywhere I want. But I think I'm going to make the executive decision and I'm going to build a base where I always build a base because it's one of my favorite biomes in the game. Uh, it's called the Grassy Plateau. And uh, yeah, that's my favorite biome to build a base in because at least with the original map... Uh, it could, it, it served as a good, like, center point between all the other biomes. Uh, and also it was pretty close to the Aurora Crash Site, which was a good place to find, uh, uh metal salvage for titanium and shit. Ah, I'll cook a pea for sure, why not? Protein-rich eyeballs? That's disgusting. I wish I hadn't read that. <laughs> Maybe I should make some fins, but I need silicone rubber for that. Which means I'd have to go into the kelp forest. Fuck it, I can do that. But, okay, so wait, hold on. Where did I see- The sea glide thing was- Ah, data! Was, I think, in this direction? Oh, come on, it was in a box. Where did it go? Also, is my life pod drifting? Because I remember it did used to do that, so my orientation might be completely off. Uh, and I actually think it is, because I don't recognize any of this. But look at how pretty, look at how gorgeous this game is! Oh my god! I love it so much! I could just swim around for years in this game and just never get tired of it. Look at the water and how beautiful the water is. Oh god. This game was beautiful even before it was finished. Now that it's finished, I'm just losing my goddamn mind. I need to find that sea glide fragment. I need the sea glide desperately. Until I get a vessel, uh, the sea glide is like my first line of defense. Oh god, you guys saw that, didn't you? Look at that. What is that, you may be asking? That is a gasopod. And another gasopod. If you get too close to them, they shake their big round booties at you and release radioactive stuff, and it's not great. So we're just gonna stay far away from that and continue looking for this sea glide fragment, which I think is right there. Are you there? Yes! One of two. Yeah, okay. I need, I need to find one more. Shit! But hey, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Okay, so I think I'm gonna find which direction the kelp forest is in, and I'm gonna head there immediately. 
because I need to- Oh, no, wait, I can't harvest stuff and get silicone rubber until I make a fucking survival knife! Damn it! Okay, how do I make a survival knife? Wait. How do I get silicone rubber if I need a knife to get it unless I don't need a knife anymore? I have no- What is that? Emergency flotation device. Chemical reaction produces lighter than air gas for fast personal buoyancy? I assume that's like a way to get yourself to the surface quicker? I've never seen that before. That's cool. I need a gla I need glass and a battery for a flashlight, which would be super useful in uh, nighttime stuff. So you know what? I think I'll make one of those right now. Uh, can I make that right now? Sure can. Okay. And then I also need to make glass. got it. I can make a titanium ingot now, but I won't do that until I know I need to. Uh, where am I going? Right. Uh, nope, I made that already. I'm go Ah, shit! I'm going to... Flashlight. Be you folk. I don't care who the hell watches this! I am playing the fucking shit out of this game for you, and there's nothing you can do about it. I found a kill for Oh god, a little bit of frame rate drop there, but it's okay. The fr oh god, the frame rate. I will take frame rate dips here and there. Whenever. Because this game... Yeah, look at it, it's beautiful. Creek vine. Some gas will find above my head. Creek vine. I would look at that, but I will drown while doing so. There's an egg. I believe that's a stalker egg. I suppose I shall leave that for now. Maybe while I'm here, I'll look for their tooth. And yes, there are creatures called stalkers. What do they look like? I'm sure you'll see them in just a few seconds here. <sighs> the music is just... gorgeous as well. I haven't seen any. I have no means of escape either if a stalker sees me. The chances are they'll see me before I see them. So Life on this planet <gasps> grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological seconds. biomes. Further study recommended. Take some of those. I think I used that to make lubricant, though, not silicone rubber, but... Oh, God, I think I'm gonna drown. Oh, Oxygen. Jesus Christ! Okay, we're good. <sighs> okay. The wreck of the Aurora also serves as, like, a great, like, anchor point for your orientation. There's a stalker. Ooh. What you got on you, buddy? Glowing green. That is not normal, indeed. Ah, and these guys. I forgot about these guys. Stay away, buddy. If you stand or swim, rather, over these, it replenishes your oxygen. Brain coral. Well, I can't stand it, I guess, because the things are in the way. Oh, God, you just released radioactive stuff. Run! Ah! You dick. You swam over to me, you turd. Oh, please tell me this is sea life fragment. Please tell me, please tell me, please tell me, please tell me. Shit, it's salt. <laughs> that was not even close to a sea life fragment. Maybe there's something in here. Hold on. Hey, who the hoverfish? New creature Look at how cute the hoverfish are. Oh, they're my favorite fish in this game. I love them. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Where are you, sir? Where the fuck are you? You're right there. Okay, can you please leave me alone? Yes, go for that. Good boy. I thought there might have been something in that box. Can I check it, please? 30 seconds. Oh, that's probably not good. Scan it for fuck's sake and get to the surface. Right now, if we had a sea glide, I could hang out down here a lot longer because it basically is like a movement speed thing. Why would I be YouTube notification? Okay, I got a new subscriber. Hold on. New subscriber! Thank you, Dragonfire Music, for subscribing. You're awesome. I love you. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Let it be known that you subscribed while I was recording my first, maybe second, probably first episode of Subnautica. I guess I was gonna go back and see if I can make silicone rubber out of, uh, I don't even know what to make silicone- OH GOD NO NO OUR CRADFISH! No! OW! <laughs> yeah, they're suicide bombing fish and I freaking hate them. Okay, I'm really, really, really far away from my pod right now. I think maybe I shouldn't 
push my luck and I'll just go back. My purchase of this game on PlayStation 4 came with a dynamic theme. Check this out. Look at him swimming around back there. There's a hoop fish, I think is what those are called. I'm gonna wait for, I think the peeper does it first. It actually swims in front of the, in front of the dashboard notifications and stuff. Or these guys, yeah, the, those are the boomerang fish. And they essentially do the same thing. But yeah, that's my new theme on PlayStation now. And I love it so much. So maybe I should look up how to make silicone rubber if I can do that. Ooh, my water's getting not great either. Hold on. Water. Filtered water. Non-vegetarian? How is, how is water non-vegetarian? It's water. Oh, it's used in all, all organic membrane. Okay, fair enough. I suppose that makes enough sense. Okay, hold on. Silicone rubber. I can use the seed clusters to make that. Okay, cool. Perfect. What was I going to make with that again? <laughs> God, I'm all over the place right now. Uh, fins. That's right. Okay, so now I can swim at a 15% increase speed. Draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Well, good. I would hope not. <laughs> I'll cook the Gary fish. For floral flavor, but very little of it. Okay. <laughs> it is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. I believe it. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Well, thanks for the pep talk there. Woman. Oh, gosh. I need more water. Okay. More water! The story of this game starts when you get a repair tool and start repairing the stuff in the life pod. Uh, I should probably convert the seed clusters into something, or I can store them. Fuck it, I'll store them. Continued degradation of the auroras. Drive cool. May result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Ruh <laughs> Uh, oh god, there's- what is- when- how long have those been in there? Okay, I have filtered water, and I have a nutrient block, which is amazing, because that's really high- that's a really big source of food that never goes bad. Oh god, I'm overwhelmed and I love it. Okay, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna make a repair tool, which means I need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, which means I get that from freaking crash fish nests, and I also need titanium, which I have plenty of. So, you know what? I'm gonna take that creep, uh, creep cluster back out. I'm gonna make some silicone rubber out of it. Nope. There we go. Nailed it. And then I also need... What did it say? I needed a... Uh, fuck. Wait, hold on. It was... Shit! I was also gonna take that. Fuck it, I'll take one of those. Which means I'm gonna need more creep clusters, Weapons but it's fine. were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Oh, swell. Okay. Okay, and I also need to be keeping my eyes open for a second sea glide fragment because that is gonna make my life so much easier. I'm gonna need to craft a lot of freaking batteries, but it will make my life so much easier! I need to find crash fish nests. They are in caves underwater because of course they are. Uh, I need to find one. And I keep wanting to hit the bumpers to switch on my D-pad. Woohoo! <laughs> That's cool. Give me you. Whoa, look at all this. Oh, thank God! Asking you shall receive. Okay. Now I need to gather materials for that. Before I venture too far from my base, maybe I should uh, go back and look to see what I need. What am I stuck on? There we go. Okay. I need a battery, copper wire, which means I need more copper ore, and lubricant, which means more seed clusters, and a battery, which is more copper. And, uh, what else? Oh god, what else did I need to make the battery? I've made two of them and I don't remember. Ah. Flashlight! Time to break out the flashlight! You guys make creepy noises and I don't like it. Let's see what else we got here. I think that'll give me more titanium now that I scan it. Yeah, I get two titanium for scanning fragments of things I already have the full blueprint for. Oxygenize me. Thank you. Okay. Oh, wait. There might be, uh, oops. Nope. Crash fish in here. Okay. R2 to turn it on and off. Gotcha. This is gonna suck. 
because I gotta like coax them out. Oh god, like that! Jesus Christ! Ow! You fucking whore sack! Please tell me you had crash powder. Oh god, you did. It used to be called crash powder, by the way, but now it's called cave sulfur. Oh, it's a beef back! Those things are cool! Oh god, run away! Oh, oh god. Yes. Beef back. Those are one of my favorite creatures in the game. Are these guys right here. They're huge. They're freaky. They're a little scary, but hot damn if they are not fucking awesome. In my first base that I ever made in this game, I found a reef back egg. And I brought it back to my base and hatched it, and then it grew up and never left the area of my base. So every once in a while I hear just like a bong, and I look out the window and the reef back is like banging against my base. I named him Bulbous, and we were friends. And he was great, so I love reef backs. Um, I need to make a battery. I need more freaking sea clusters. I forgot about that. I need lubricant. What else did I need to make a sea glide? Uh, copper wire. Do I have enough copper for that? Shit. Hold on. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the hoverfish back because I love the, the hoverfishes. They are so motherfucking cute. There, you're free, buddy. I'm not gonna eat you. I love the hoverfish. They're so cute. I'm like slightly ADD right now. <laughs> Just because I'm so excited about this game. Ah, oh, motherfucker! Oh, that was a mistake! No! Oh, God. Okay. I'm just gonna take as much cave sulfur as I can while I've got it so I don't have to keep suicide bombing myself anymore. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Ah, that's some helpful information. Thank you very much. I keep wanting to call you Karen, but that's somebody else's joke. <laughs> I can also break these uh, with my knife so they stop freaking respawning, but, you know, I'm not gonna do that. Quartz is valuable once you eventually start building base pieces! No! Oh god. What's this? Silver. I need that. Kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. I am aware of this. Where did your nest go, you asshole? Here you go. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. I should probably get out of here. Uh, once I find an entrance, I think I'm about to drown. Oh god, no. I am relatively certain I'm about to drown. Oh god, I don't know how to get out. I don't know how to get out. I have no idea how to get out. Oh god. Oh god, I don't know how- Oh god. Abu warned me about this! No! Oh god, my health ain't doing great. I'm not dead. Uh, please tell me I have a medkit with me. Boy, don't I. Nailed it. Okay, we're doing good now. Sun's coming up. Oh! No, I need copper! Thank you. I once tried building a base in here, in this giant tube thing, and it turned out to be not a good idea because it's a very limited space. Also, it's at ground level, which is not good for when you eventually need to build something called the moon pool, uh, but we will get to that eventually. Emphasis on eventually, because this game does have a lot of grinding and a lot of gathering and a lot of dying, but my god, is it not worth every second of it you and uh maybe one more except my inventory is full oh jesus and a stalker sees me swim away swim away no get away from me come here i want to scan you you jerk wad also i need your teeth which is a pain in the ass to collect but i'll scan you while i have a chance give me sir give me sir teach me your ways okay Hey, that looks much better. See, now I have a white screen on my laptop here, so. Okay. God, I need more water already. Jesus. It's almost like hydration is important or something. And I do believe we can now is essential in make construction the... of vehicles and power plants. Indeed, power plants. Where is the... Where is the sea glide? I need copper wire. Okay, I can make that easily enough right there. All right, we're about to craft ourselves a sea glide, which is easily one of the most useful 
pieces of equipment in the entire game. Yeah! Will increase your effective exploration range. Indeed it will. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Five kilometers is uh, quite far. I need, I should probably start curing food, right? But uh, I guess I won't do that now. Actually, my hunger's doing all right. All right, now next we need to make a repair tool. How do I make a repair tool? I can make one right now. Fuck yeah. Okay. Nailed it. Okay, now we can start repairing stuff like this, which is our communications relay, which is very important for the story of the game. Because as you see, there's a message waiting for us. What I want to hear. Life pod secondary systems online. Hey! Diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Excellent. 4546B environment scan. I want to read that actually. Uh. Here we go. Category three ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. Lucky me. Extensive biodiversity. May support Leviathan class predators. Cross the May off of there. <laughs> Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. Fuck me, right? It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. I'm eventually gonna need to make a rad suit, that's right. I say eventually. Uh, you'll find out why later. We have a message waiting for us on the radio. This is a moron. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. I will do that for sure, Madam Sir thing. Yeah! Rescue ain't coming for us. Well, perhaps one of our options is to repair the Aurora and fly the fuck out of here ourselves, right? have to keep that open but that's obviously a long ways off so yeah what was I gonna do now local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state quantum detonation will occur within two hours oh well that bodes well maybe I should just shut my mouth because obviously what I just said ain't gonna happen uh, uh the, the sound effects of the sea glider are a little different that's cool Okay, so wait, what am I gonna do with my life now? I should probably collect more bladderfish. Come here, Mr. Bladderfish, you. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna start collecting these, because I remember needing a metric fuck ton of these in the later game. Oh, shit. Dang, ain't you correct? All right. Woo! <laughs> Come here, I need you for food. Sustenance! Oh, my inventory's full. Well, fucking shit. Habitat builder. I need, oh god. A battery, that's easy enough. Wiring kit, uh, and computer chip, double, uh. How on earth do I make any of that? There's the table coral. I need gold and silver. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. I love the sea glide so much. Look how much faster we can go. We can spend a lot more time underwater. We can cover more ground because we can move faster. It's awesome! Okay, hold on. What's this? Oh, that's probably not good. Mobile vehicle bay fragment is good, but the stalker on my ass is not good. Ah! Uh, fuck off. Back the fuck off. Now, where did that fragment go? There we go. Oh, jeez. Nailed it. I need two more. Oh, it's getting dark. This is disturbing and scary. Oh, and the worst thing is I can't have my flashlight and the sea glider at the same time! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus. Oh, I got gold! I'll pick that up, too, even though I have plenty of quartz. I suppose that's, that'll be something I can drop if I run out of space. I need more gold! Oh, God, I have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, no! Breach! Woohoo! <laughs> it's so much fun. Uh, 
you, Sandstone. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your Ow! activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Well, I'm sorry, but that ain't exactly an option right now. Drop that shit and, uh. Oh, oh god! God, I hate the sound the stalkers make. Where'd that lead go? I want it. Lead! Oh, for fuck's sake. Can you leave me alone? I'm just looking for gold! Oh no. I have 30 seconds of oxygen and I swam into a cave. That's not good survival instinct, is it? Okay, we're good. Where's the big planet? Why does the moon look so normal? I remember the moon used to be humongous in this game. Silver gold, silver gold. It's a good time of year to be singing that song, right? It's December, after all. Hover fish, I love you so much! What the fuck is that? Why are you sparkling? Magic peeper! Ow! Dick Wad Stalker, where is magic peeper? Magic, why are you magic peeper? I want you. 30 seconds. I want you. I want you in my mouth hole. Oh god, where did he go? I can't. I'm gonna drown looking for the magic peeper. I'll come back and find you later. Oh, I have a new message. Ah, I have a new threat! Swim away! Swim away! Yeah, my inventory's full. I couldn't pick up gold even if I found more. Alright, well, let's head back. It's dark and scary down here anyway. <laughs> Okay, we're in. Let's see what the new message says. What? This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost they have crushed by the now. Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system. And this grim looking the aurora is about to blow up. Can you shut up for a second? Come get us already. Active locations, oh god! Oh, for my convenience! Oh, well, thank you! For your convenience, the radiation <laughs> suit has been added to your blueprint database. How blueprints? Uh, how do I make a rad suit? Because I need it now. That the freaking radioactive drive core is just blown up! Yeah, we're not repairing that thing. <laughs> we're stuck here forever! <laughs> Fiber mesh and lead. Well, I have one lead. Uh, how do I make fiber mesh again? Shit, how do I make that? Creep vine samples. Okay, so I make fiber mesh from the creep vine samples, and I can make lube or silicone rubber from the seed clusters. Okay. That's, that's fine. 